All right, folks, welcome to Give Me Five. Uh, let's uh, once again take a look at the uh, video of the shooting of uh, Laquan McDonald uh, in Chicago by uh, Officer Jason Van Dyke. There you see the, uh, the, the camera video from the police car of, of, uh, of uh, them arriving on the scene. On the left, you'll see uh, the officer Van Dyke get out, and he's one of those officers, and then he's the one who shoots. A horrific video, and, um, you know, it defies common sense that, that he should have shot probably in the first place, but certainly more than once. I mean, he shot 16 times, which is inexplicable. All right, but let's, talk, let, let, let's fast forward now to a debate on CNN between my favorite, Sonny Hostin, who has also banned me from Twitter. Joe Scarborough and Sonny Hostin, what do they have in common? They both banned me from Twitter, um, you know, from their Twitter. And Harry Houck, our friend Harry Houck, former police uh, uh, officer here in New York City, they uh, had a little debate going on this whole issue, and it got kind of heated yesterday on CNN. Let's watch. I think the discussion is starting. I don't think um, that it is complete. I, I don't think that it is um, uh, an intensive discussion, and I don't think it's a, a collective joint discussion about the collective hurt that is being felt in communities of color. I mean, I can tell you after one of my segments earlier today with Wolf Blitzer, I got an email on my website that said, you know, um, you should. Why are you so unhappy? He's been charged with with first degree murder. Um, your people need to um, just be happy with that. All right, I'd like to see that email first of all, and I don't know that you get you get emails on your website. Is that is that exactly? I, I don't know. I mean, so I could send her an email on her website. I'm banned from Twitter, but I could send her an email on her website. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, could she ban me from her website? I don't know. All right, and then we have this. So that is just one viewer watching, uh, giving voice to I think this real divide, quite frankly, that we are seeing in our country and I, I think to Charles point which I think is a really poignant one which is this is a human issue this is should be a collective issue this is not just a, a, an issue for people of color for for black people this this should be a, co a collective human issue all right you know again I want to make clear no way on the face of the earth do I believe from the video from what I know that this guy should have been shot a and certainly not shot 16 times B um, he did have a knife. He was walking in the street. He was told, the cops say they were telling him, put the knife down, put the knife down, put the knife down. And he didn't put the knife down. You know, and I didn't even know that going into this. I didn't even know that. And the picture the media uses to show this young man, uh, uh, Laquan McDonald, is his high school graduation picture with his cap and gown. What's he doing walking in the middle of the street with a knife defying police orders to put it down? I'm not saying he should have been shot. But this didn't, you know, happen in a vacuum more. I, I just have to call BS on the prosecutor here, quite frankly, because she said today that police, the reason it took her so long to file charges, this is Cook County's um, state's attorney, Anita Alvarez, that police shootings are highly complex matters that carry with them unique legal issues. Well, that may be true, but it does not take over a year to bring charges. I think the timing of are really, really curious, um, and I think the fact that a judge just recently said, you better release this video on Wednesday, mm. that on Tuesday we now have first-degree murder charges, and I'm not happy about that. I'm happy about the lack of transparency that we are seeing over and over again, not just in Chicago, but all over the country. All right, now Harry Houck gets involved. The thing is, that I don't see this happening in epidemic proportions, as he's making it out to be. There are millions and millions of interactions with police officers every day out here on the street. All right. Now, are things like this going to happen? Yes. You know, hold on. Hold on. You know why? That's not because, true, Harry. 20 see, first let of all, let well, you let me finish. I'll let you finish. What you're saying the is problem, not epidemic proportions, the problem, and that's it, not it, true. It's not. All right. Why the, are the black fact, men 21 percent here, more likely to be killed by police officers? Do you know that more whites are killed by police officers every year than blacks? Do you know that? Do you know the real numbers? Times more right, likely there are more to be whites killed, killed by police officers than their white counterparts. You got to let me talk here. Those are the stats. Harry, go ahead. All right, you got to let me talk here. So I don't think this is an epidemic. Hang on, hang on. You do, and I let you say. Hey guys. All right, so that sums up the conversation we're having about this in our country, but she should have let him talk. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.